Thank the Lord for so much coming back once again. The Methodist Church. Difference with the Baptist Church. Had a good comment from the other video. And once again, people, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. Don't claim to be a Bible scholar. Far from it. But I claim to be a child of God who I love the Lord with all my heart. Uh, Methodist Church. Uh, good question from you, Tasha, once again. Uh, you know this whole conflict, and I'm not here to debate. Once again, if you want to debate, I ain't even going to respond back to your debating questions. I'm just going to lay it like it is. Uh, the difference you was talking about between Baptist and Methodist. Now, in the other video, we was talking about Baptist and Kajic. But uh, you made some very good points, and you, I agree with you a million percent. Now, the whole thing, this is why we got this whole confusion on being baptized. Because if you look at the way Bapt Baptist churches do, you know, they got the pool pretty much behind the pool pit. And if they don't have a pool, they have a tub somewhere, you know. But uh, they going to baptize you, dip you under water, bring you back up. Now, Methodists, not all Methodists, but you got different Methodists because you got a United Methodist also. But a lot of people of the Methodists don't really care nothing about the baptism pool. That's why I know a lot of the churches I go in, they don't have one. Why? Because a lot of them just sprinkle water on people. They're not so much concerned on that, that, that baptizing that way. They might just sprinkle some water on you. And that's it. And then when you look at the difference between preachers, see, most Methodist churches are a big shout out to you, Pastor King. Sean King, he's a Methodist preacher who I hang with all the time. And we talk about uh, different things all the time. But like in most Methodist churches, they pastor won't be there as long as a Baptist church preacher would be. Because they'll be chose to go somewhere else. They might stay there maybe a year. And then they might, the bishop might tell them to go, now you need to go pastor at this church. I got another church for you after this year. But in the Baptist church, a preacher can stay in there as long as they need to. But see, once again, religion, tradition. Now, can you imagine folks that's Baptist or, you know, just, just picture with me, picture with, with this in your mind for a minute. Imagine getting so close to your pastor. Y'all done gained such a re great relationship, and you used to watching him preach the word every Sunday, and he's always checking on you, and y'all got a great relationship, and then you done got so close with him, then he's gone after a year. You won't see him no more. And then he done got so busy being somewhere else, now he got to gain another relationship with another church, and sometimes preachers get so busy they can't have that conversation with you like they used to calling and checking on you all the time because they got so many other people to check on now. You get that close to your pastor, then they got to leave. That's what the Methodists have to deal with. Unless somebody else say something different. But I'm just telling you from what I have played around and been around, I won't get up and speak about something I ain't never went through, trust me. Because like I said, I done played it all of them. And that's the, the difference. When you look at the way they, some of them will say how much, how, how wet do you want to get? And I mean that in a good way. How much water do you need to be baptized? Like, I see a conflict with this all the time. But I don't get into the debates. I just laugh at it because it's so much foolish stuff behind what the word really says, man. That's why I told folks got mad at me and many man in the other video. I said the water did not save me. The blood of Jesus is what saved me because people debate all day on, on if you ain't baptized, you're going to hell. That ain't... That ain't <laughs> That ain't scripture, man. People, people can always tell you, well, you can, the water, they're going to tell what, what Nicodemus said, what Jesus said, you must be born again. Such, such, this, such, such, that. We keep on to place ourselves in the Bible times. And people don't understand when it comes to baptism, it's not always connected with the water. But folks won't study the different types of baptisms that stated in the Bible. They only want to connect with one, which is the water. Well, John baptized Jesus. I'm not finna get off on all that because I'm not gonna debate once again, but that is another difference between the Methodists and the Baptists when you look at the preachers having to, you know, go. And it's so much other differences that I can get off into, but when I look at this, I always tell people we got all these different beliefs, different religions, all of this division for one God. Now, I ain't talking about people in the world that's following their own gods. I'm talking to the Christians, the saints, the, the elect, 
spirit. I like to call us the elect who's supposed to be able to stand boldly. Christians, child of God, the children, we shouldn't have all this division for one God. Because believe it or not, I'm going to say this again. He did not state in his word he was just coming back for the church of God of Christ. He didn't say he was just coming back for Baptists. He didn't say he was just coming back for Pentecostal. He didn't say, I'm going to come back for the AME and CME. He coming back for his children. God is not a respect of person. He don't care nothing about titles. I don't either. Man do. Women do. Not everybody do. I don't care nothing about titles. I'm sorry. All I care about is trying to live right and my salvation. So hopefully this video can help you all. So and, uh, I don't want to get off in a whole lot of other stuff because I don't want to cause no confusion in these videos. But somebody going to be confused either way it go. But then somebody going to want to debate. But I ain't going to even respond back to those questions. I'm letting you know in this video, if you hear the debate, I'm telling you loud and clear. I'm not even going to respond back to you debating about water baptism or whatever it is you're going to try to see fit with what I said. Because once again, I tell it like it is and I get on out of the way. The thing is, just go study for yourself. Go study for yourself. And I hope this is a blessing to you, sister. God bless you.